the Whistler Peak Suspension Bridge and uh, Cantilever Platform at the top of Whistler Mountain is a uh, project that uh, Whistler Blackcomb and Vale Resorts approached us about last year. A push to try and uh, have it built before the snow started to fly at the end of October in 2017 but uh, the weather and mother nature just didn't cooperate with us and the uh, snow came early and so we got a portion of the work done then but the rest of it was done in uh, this year in 2018. It was very much a, a team project working with uh, Whistler Blackcomb Vale Resorts, Morrison Hirschfield, the uh, designer and Axis Mountain Technical installers of the project. Whistler Suspension Bridge is a 420-foot clear span. It rests on four two-inch round cables. The uh, cables were strung at the top of the peak chair to a western peak. Once the bridge is put up and you get to the end of that bridge, when you walk across, then there is a, a cantilever platform or a viewing platform that uh, cantilevers out 40 feet from the uh, cliff face, and you can walk out to the edge and... Uh, 40 feet out and I hang over the cliff and look down onto the Whistler village in the valley below and onto Blackcomb in the distance. The steel is all modular and fabricated in our shop. The bridge parts were all assembled here at George Third and Son and then uh, sent to uh, galvanizing, then brought back, inspected and then sent to the job site. They had to be trucked to the top of Whistler Mountain. Some of the larger pieces were installed with a helicopter, the ones that were too heavy to handle, and then the other smaller pieces were put on, assembled at the top of the mountain and put onto the cables one part at a time and uh, slid across until they made a bridge that went the full 420 feet. Our taking of them, assembling the bridge, are taking about June 10th, and June 10th it was snowing at the top of Whistler and uh, where they were putting it on. In clement weather, that wasn't uh, installed in the winter, it was in fact installed in the summer. When it came to the challenges of the viewing platform, because everything was going to be installed with a helicopter, we had to be ensured that everything fit perfectly. We don't usually trial assemble our parts in the shop because we're pretty confident that everything's done with a 3D model. Parts are cut with CNC machines and the craftsmen at George Third and Son put things together correctly, but we wanted to be doubly sure, so we actually assembled the cantilevered platform completely at George Third and Son in our, in our shop and put all the pieces together, made sure that they fit and that the, especially the end cantilevered piece had to um, be brought in and, and fit exactly. So there wasn't a struggle for the guys uh, standing at Axis Mountain Technical, standing out on the edge of the bridge receiving the part, uh, about a 4,000 pound part on a helicopter. There was some challenges where we needed to adjust some of the steel a little bit, uh, tweak it in, in or out, and we actually put the piece down once and then came back with it a second time when we had it just right. The challenges of being working with everybody cantilevered out over the edge, tied off so that if they fall, they don't uh, fall to their peril. But also working underneath a, a live helicopter, it's almost impossible to hear each other. Everything has to be done with hand signals. It's get quite dangerous work. And if the chopper ever lets go of the load, which he has the ability to do, it could be a catastrophe. Things went very smoothly. The uh, cantilevered platform was put up, started at nine o'clock in the morning and uh, was finished by three o'clock in the afternoon. Requiring a special chopper that we had to wait for that chopper to be available. We had a short window in which we can use it. The 40 foot long beams weigh 5,000 pounds each. He had to restrict his fuel load so that he could lift that much. And so he would uh, have to do some refueling in between loads quite regularly to uh, make sure the payload wasn't too heavy. The third family has two residences up at Whistler. Uh, we've skied there for the last 42 years and uh, we're really proud to be involved in this project and, and to be have changed the landscape up there f forever and, uh, and we've, I'm sure there'll be a lot of people enjoy what we've done there.